So in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to paint a wheel. Now this works for an alloy wheel or a steel wheel like we've got here off of my Morris Minor. I wanna go with a nice shiny wheel on my Morris Minor to contrast the wrap look of the body. And currently I've painted them in primer and just clear coated them. It's not quite the look I'm going for, so I've decided to try black. So I'm gonna paint this one black, put it on the car, see whether I like it, and then maybe paint the rest of them black. Tools we're gonna to use, I'm basically gonna use a drill with a wire wheel on it to get rid of the rust. And we've got a scourer just to, you know, not quite as rough as the wire wheel, but it should still get some of the loose stuff off. And then I've got some 120 grit sandpaper and some 400. Now, normally you'd go a little bit finer than that. You'd probably then go to 600 and 800, then maybe a thousand. Um, but because I'm using high build primer, shouldn't need quite so fine sanding. Once we've done the sanding part and the primer, we'll then go to gloss black. So you could leave it like that, but I'm gonna go with a clear coat afterwards. So uh, that's the step, so let's uh, get on with it. Right, so the first step is to go around with the wire wheel in the electric drill. And what we're aiming for here is to get the really worst of the rust off and not forgetting to come around the outside of here because this leading edge here will still be on show when the tire's on. Right, that's got the loose rust off. Obviously it's still very rough on the edges, so the next step we'll go to, we'll get that scourer and we'll just go around get all the loose stuff off get all this dirt off of here the wire wheel couldn't quite get into and uh, then we'll go start with the sandpaper but we're only going to start the sanding on the rougher spots because uh, this painted bit here is already smooth so we will hopefully just be able to get away with the 400 there and then the high build primer So the 120 grit paper will tear a little bit off and then all we're focusing on here is just the rough bits, all the high spots. There we go. So I've used the sandpaper to get right down in these grooves. Um, now the thing with this is, so with any kind of painting, it's all the, the more prep work you put in, the better finish you're gonna get. And anyone who knows me knows I don't have the patience and will probably even be quite impressed that I'm even doing this video. I would normally just pay someone else to do it. You can't really feel the rusty bits now. It all kind of blends in. So that's kind of what we we're going for. Right, so the 400 grit. Now what we need to do with this is cover every single surface that's going to be painted. This is going to give it a really nice key, it should help the primer stick really well and uh, should hopefully then give us a smooth finish. There we go. I'm not too bothered. I haven't gone too far to town. We're going around the hub here. Um, this is all going to be covered by the chrome trim. I'm going to blast this with an airline and then we'll go around with some alcohol uh, on a tissue uh, just to get all the dust off and uh, make sure the surface is totally clean and then we'll hit the primer. <laughs> works pretty well. Now what's really important with these cans is you need to shake them really, really well. This one says shake for two minutes. 
and then apply two coats at a distance of about 25 centimeters and then leave for an hour. So uh, yeah, I'll go and give it a good shake. Right, so what I tend to do with these is put a really, really thin coat on first. Just literally just brush over it. Gives it a good, uh, a good initial surface. And then uh, I'll leave it for about a minute before putting the two coats on it says. And then we'll leave it for an hour. Right, see if I can take you with me while I do these couple of coats of primer. So nice even strokes. This is actually the colour the wheels are at the moment. Just clear coated. And uh, I thought that would be the right look that I wanted, but it's not, unfortunately. So I'm going to come around here and go at a different angle now, just to make sure we get good coverage and we don't miss any spots like down there. So we'll leave that for about an hour and then um, we'll come back and we'll put on the gloss black. Right, so same as with the primer, I've just shaken this for a couple of minutes and I'm just going to go with a really light coat over the uh, face of the wheel, leave it for a couple of minutes and then we'll go in with uh, some thicker coats and we'll build it up until we get the finish, uh, we get a nice smooth finish. And then uh, this stuff says you leave it for 20 to 30 minutes and then I can clear coat. Clear coat. This is the same as the uh, paint. I shake for two minutes, which I've just done, and then it takes about half hour or so to go off. This should give it a nice glossy finish, which is what I'm hoping for. A contrast with the uh, thing they call tatty bodywork on the midget, on the Morris. Sorry. <laughs> leave that for half hour, I might do another coat or two afterwards. And then uh, all that's going to be left after that is put a new valve in, chuck the tyre on, and see what it looks like on the Morris. There we are, black wheels, and the old grey wheels. I think I definitely prefer the black, I think it looks so much better on the car. Cool. Right, well, four more wheels to paint. Thanks for watching.